Today we're going to take this Zeus two channel, normally open, normally closed relay, one Ecolink door sensor, one 12 volt power supply, and with this we're going to make a power outage sensor. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, we need to open this up, take the cover off of it. We're going to leave this little battery battery tag in here until we're ready to pair it so we don't waste the battery. All right, so you'll see here that we have a couple of terminals here that we're going to use to connect to. And on here, we have some terminals that we're going to connect to as well for our normally open, normally closed sensors. And then of course the power supply. So first things first, let's go ahead and connect up the wiring from the terminal on the door sensor to the terminal on the relay. And you'll need to provide some sort of wiring. The kit that I'm going to put in the description down below comes with the, the uh, power supply, the sensor, or I'm sorry, the relay and the sensor, uh, but they don't have extra wire in there. So make sure you have some of this available for you. All right, first things first, let me go ahead and connect it to the um, normally open or normally closed relay points on the relay. So if we look at it here, we'll take the white wire and we'll connect it here to normally closed. Okay, now we'll connect these two to the relay here on the uh, door sensor, or the terminals on the door sensor. And for that, I need a different screwdriver. Sure wish I had a U-Fix-It kit. That would be really nice. I see those everywhere. I should just get one, or maybe somebody will send me one. That would be awesome. Love to have a U-Fix-It kit to do these little projects with. Not sponsored. All right, there we go. So now we have the relay connected to the door sensor. So now we need to put power on the relay. And you know what? This is wrong. Obviously, you can see here, that's my 12, 24 volt. That's not where I want that. So let me take that off and put it in the right spot. Okay, now we do have our relay, normally closed part of our relay connected to our door switch. So now we will put power on it. And for power, we will take and loosen these. All right, so now you have power connected to the 12 volt normally closed relay point and you have the normally closed relay contacts connected to the door sensor. So our next step is to go into Home Assistant, include this device right here, and then set up some automations and triggers for when the power goes out. So let's move on over to the computer. We wanna go ahead and include that device that I just added to Home Assistant. So we'll go to Configuration, Integrations, and uh, open Z-Wave, Configure, and I'm going to add a node. And then I'm going to pull this tab out. Pull this tab out here. And we'll see what happens here with that light. All right, now it's solid. And that should mean that we have a new device. So let's go to nodes. So here's my new door window sensor. We can tell because it's the Echo Link, Echo Link. I can click on this and I can rename it. So let's call this a power sensor 
door node. So power sensor door node, and I'm going to update that. And I'm going to just change all these power sensor just so we have everything. Power sensor door node tamper. And one more power sensor door node battery level. All right. We also want to change our binary sensor here. So binary sensor is going to be power sensor door node. So update that as well. Okay, now that you have your power sensor renamed and we've renamed the node and we've renamed the uh, actual entity ID, we can go over to using shortcut keys at the C key on your keyboard and I wanna to navigate to developer tools. And I'm gonna search for power because that's what I'm looking for here. And we see that our binary sensor power door node, which is what we called it, is currently open. That means that the power is supposedly out. So that's true because I don't have it plugged in. So let me just go ahead and plug it in to an outlet. And I just plugged in the sensor or the power supply. And we can see now that the power sensor has become closed. Excellent. So now what happens if the power goes out, which I'll simulate by unplugging, now the power is out and my sensor has provided a door open event. So the way this works is it takes these, this little sensor and if the power goes out, the relay closes here. And what this relay is doing is basically simulating, it's simulating the magnet that would go before this door sensor. So if you put a magnet up this door sensor, you do the same thing. It would show an open or a close by using two wires here off of this relay. Whenever the power goes out, this relay changes state to normally, it's a normally closed, we're using the normally closed contacts. This particular device senses that the contacts become open when the power's out and then says the door's open. Really ingenious little idea. So yes, you do need a door sensor or something that you can wire uh, to uh, this relay in order for it to send the sensor value over to Home Assistant. So now what I want to do is create a couple of automations to do something with this. So let's go back over to uh, configuration, automations, and we're going to add a new automation. So we're going to start with an empty automation. So the name is going to be um, alert on power outage. Let's do uh, a state. An entity is going to be power sensor power sensor door node. That's this binary sensor power sensor door node. So for our triggers, we want this power sensor to go from off to on. And you could say for uh, two minutes or whatever, you could set that for uh, um, a, like a threshold value. If you power was out for five minutes, you would want to be notified otherwise not. And then for conditions, we're not going to do anything there. And then for device, we're going to actually, uh, for action, we're going to call a service and it's going to be notify. And let me find the right notify. So notify, notify, and this is going to create an app notification. And for this, we're going to say message. And the value of that is going to be uh, power out in garage. And we're going to save it. And now we have an automation. So if we go back over here, um, get rid of this and we can see alert on power outage. So currently the power is off. So let me turn the power back on by plugging in the relay. So if everything goes well, I've got my phone here running the home assistant app. If everything goes well, when the power goes out, see, it says last triggered never. Last triggered is going to be never here. 
if I pull the plug, it should say last triggered now. So there it is, uh, last triggered right now at this very moment. And I should get a notification on my Home Assistant app uh, that power is out in the garage. And a, you can kind of see that there, barely. But it does say at the very top, I got an alert saying the power outage is in the garage. So that's number one way to do that. The second way we can do that is one of my other favorite ways of, of automating, and that's using Node Red. So let's go into a Node Red and let's create an automation to do the same thing and maybe add a couple extra things to it. So let's go over to the playground and let's look for a trigger state. We'll drag that on here. And we will look for uh, power or garage, or let's call power garage door sensor. Entity ID is going to be the binary sensor. Power sensor door node. And I'm calling it garage because that's where I'm ultimately going to use it, but you can use power sensor garage node. So this entity uh, current state is off and then I want to output on connect. So if, if something, if home assistant restarts and the power is already out, I want it to, um, to tell me. So we will leave it as that. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to copy a couple things that I've used before. So under this, I will copy a function. Um, it's very big, so it's hard to see it all. I'm going to use this, this, and this, and I will copy control C three nodes, copy, go back over to my playground and I will paste those here. And what I'm going to do is kind of rename everything. So what, what's going to happen is if the state is allowed, which means it goes to um, power outage state, I am going to create a pushover alert and I'm going to change, of course, all this notify garage power out and my message is going to be garage power is out and it'll be the same thing for my other topic which sometimes is a subject depending on the device you're using out tugboat uh okay that's fine and then i'll save that and automatically, since we just copied what we already used in another uh, uh, another flow, as soon as this happens, it's going to notify Garage Power and send it to Pushover. Now, I also want to notify um, my my smart speakers. So let me just make sure I have this right. So we can go directly to that. All right, cool. So the, the neat thing about re, it, building these, these flows and these nodes is you can just copy them and reuse them again without having to reinvent the wheel. So for this one, I'm going to call um, everywhere. That's because it announces on all my devices. If we're a power out garage. And then notify in Alexa Media everywhere. And it'll say, instead of the fridge temperature, it will say... Um, power out in garage and data type announce we don't need target i'm going to leave that in here because i don't want to break it right now for the demo but we don't necessarily need those things since it's going to go to everywhere and we're done with that now we take this and we attach it over here wire it as they say and so we'll deploy it power is currently off so let me plug it back in and turn the power on so So I just got a notification that powers out. So obviously I did something backwards. See how it says off. So this should actually say on. So the door off when it's off, the door is closed. That means the relay is closed. That means the power is on. So backwards. So you have to think a little bit backwards. So now if I deploy it, if I pull the power from that relay, You'll see power out in garage. 
I don't know if you can hear it, but the Alexa device is saying something. So it, it, it turned on, meaning that the switch was pulled. Um, the sensor determined that the relay was open or on uh, because there's no power. And then you have your power outage message to Alexa. I don't want to say her real name or she'll trigger. And then, of course, a pushover alert that I get on my watch and I get on my phone. So now you can plug this in anywhere you want to remotely you want or you want to monitor power. Now, here's a caveat to that. Whatever you're running on your um, USB side for your Z-Wave stuff has to have power long enough for this to, to work. So my, U my uh, home assistant is running on a UPS and the USB stick that runs Z-Wave is plugged into that, that computer that runs home assistant. So if you want to have a power added notification, whatever you're running has to have power and that includes your internet connection. So uh, for me, in this particular instance, I have a lot of issues with the GFCI outlet in the garage going off and me not knowing about it. I've got a freezer in the garage. I've right now holiday lighting outside. So if the power goes out in the garage, I don't know until, you know, hours later. This is the perfect solution for me because if that GFCI trips, all my other stuff supposedly in the house is still on, including my home assistant with the Z-Wave. And that's going to give me the ability to get notified when something goes out. Um, also, if the power itself goes out in the house, I mean, I could have a couple of these in different strategic places. If I get alerts from two different uh, devices, that tells me that there's a bigger than just one room power outage, potentially a, a, like a whole house power outage. And then I have my UPS for my internet connection and I have my UPS for my home assistant. So I have backup power and definitely it would be long enough to get a notification from uh, one of these devices if the power were to go out. So there you have it. Uh, that's as simple as it is to build that. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to put the link to where I bought this. It's, it's a package deal um, that you can buy at one place. It gives the sensor and the, the um, relay and the power supply all in one package. Now I will say that um, for whatever reason, they shipped me um, the wrong device. And so I ended up buying just a 12 volt power supply off the internet uh, and just cutting the wires so I could wire it up. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button if you like the video, leave me comments or questions, set me up on Discord, all that's linked down below. If you feel like you wanna support me on Ko-fi or, or Patreon, those are also linked down below. And we will see you on the next video.